Welcome back to another unsolicited and unindicated football analysis with your friend David Valentin. This time we're heading to the stadium to witness Orlando City versus Inter Miami in the Open Cup. Um, this is the second time in the Open Cup tournament that Orlando City has to face uh, in-state rival in a, in a team uh, where they have a history of contentious um, games. So Orlando City, uh, as you guys know, is coming back from a highly criticized game in Austin where bad refereeing decisions uh, cost Orlando City uh, the win. Orlando City was dominating all the way to the 60th minute, 2-0, and then after that, two, what appeared to be immediate red cards, uh, took, took the uh, team down to nine men, and then after that, uh, the referee um, awards a, a corner kick that should have not been a corner kick, because the ball clearly uh, leaves the pitch from the chest of uh, Austin player and they tie the game so as an Orlando City fan I hope that all that frustration all that anger uh, well we, we take it on on Miami tonight I feel that uh, Orlando is a much better team and um, honestly their position way 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 below the red line the the playoff line on the table shows who they are I hope that uh, our boys can uh, come and defend our colors because losing is not an option. It, this is for pride. This is for, for a trophy. This is for money. And uh, I expect the, uh, Orlando City to give everything. What happened, happened. And if anything, it galvanizes our fan base to remember that nothing in this league is just given. As long as you are Orlando City and you're wearing purple. Facts. So we're going to head out to the stadium. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Uh, we don't expect a lot of people, obviously. All the fans of Orlando City that are uh, at least an hour away from Orlando are definitely not going to make this one. Uh, but it should be interesting uh, for those that already live within Orange County. Uh, today was the last day of school uh, for Orange County students. It's not a school night anymore. Um... People really want to support the club. And also, we have a game on Saturday against Dallas here in Orlando. Uh, the only league game for the month. Uh, a game that I'm going to be missing because I'm use, actually using my tickets for that game for next game as I have friends coming from England. And I plan to obviously take my wife and my kids and my friends all together that day. So I'm going to sit that one out. Uh, to be quite honest, it's a game uh, where the two red cards that happen in Austin are going to come into play. And to be honest with you, I think the best we're going to be doing in that game is, um, you know, just a tie, to be quite honest. Or else it can surprise us, who knows. You that, you that are is watching this uh, video already know the result of the game, so... Uh, you probably are saying, you moron, Orlando City played beautifully tonight. Of course they're gonna win or you could be like well you know they got smashed and they only have uh two more days of rest yeah i i i feel you brother so who knows so let's head out to the stadium and see what the night has in store for us all right my friends so in lieu of the results i have made the executive decision that i'm only going to show facundo torres goal and the pk round because quite honestly, nothing really happened in regular time. Enjoy.
Walsh, come on.
Bucks are going to take it. Come on, Flacco. I know you want to be a legend. Nothing, bro. They got nothing at uh, attack wise.
commercials going like the whole looks like Yellow, yellow. Oh, come on. What do you mean, last chance?
All right, my friends, the game ends uh, in extra time, 1-1. After Orlando City concedes uh, in extra time, uh, obviously it was uh, nil-nil in regular time. We go to two halves of 15 minutes. Miami scores first. It looks like we are doomed. Facu Torres comes out of nowhere, uh, scores, placing us, uh, placing us, uh, even we go to penalty a, pe a penalty shootout uh, since 2011 Orlando City has never lost a penalty shootout since 2011 we have never lost a penalty shootout and my uh, my friends tonight was no different Orlando City goes and takes the, the victory I gotta be quite honest I will have to review the uh, video to see uh, what happened uh, how many uh, uh, penalties were uh, accomplished by each team? I just couldn't see. I just recorded, closed my eyes, and and the crowd basically let me know what was happening. Uh, fantastic performance by Mason Stoddard, who again uh, does not disappoint. Uh, we really, uh, in in retrospect, uh, we should have won this game in regular time. We have plenty of opportunities. Uh, and uh, we just couldn't put the ball, pull the ball, put the ball in. Um, it is my educated uh, suspicion that quite possibly going this late, uh, we probably may have jeopardized our result uh, on Saturday against Dallas here at home. Um, I hope I hope I'm wrong. I hope that I'm dead wrong. So Orlando City moves on in the tournament. Uh, as of right now, this can change. Uh, it looks like Orlando City will be hosting Nashville. Who tonight defeated uh, Louisville. Louisville um, did, uh, did, did fantastically. But at the end, um, the, the talent of Nashville, the MLS experience uh, was more that they could handle which means that the next game is going to be a battle. Next game is the quarterfinals, quarterfinals. Nothing has been easy for Orlando City so far. They have managed to prevail. And that's what the fans love about this club, love about this team. They never disappoint. Uh, when the rubber meets the road, they never disappoint. Great thrill for these fans, for the 11,000 that showed up on a Wednesday night to downtown Orlando where I find myself fighting traffic trying to be to go home I would like to remind everybody please give me a thumbs up uh, share this video uh, subscribe if you want to consume content about Orlando City I am here I'm yours and um, the uh, th uh, also I, wanna, I would like to remind everybody Ladon Prado Orlando uh, live Mondays 8 30 with myself with myself my friend Luis Pineda and my friend uh, excuse me my my throat is it, completely gone uh, and my friend Paola Medina and we are going to be talking about all this we're gonna be talking about uh, obviously the game uh, against uh, Dallas and uh, you know as we move on into the month of June a month that promises a lot again Orlando City will have one home game for the regular season uh, we don't know when in June we'll be seeing uh, this uh, next phase of Open Cup uh, but uh, nonetheless the boys are gonna go fight like we all know that they can do and uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Florida underscore man 76 with that said thank you very much for watching may God bless you and as always Vamos Orlando!